and Eastern Suburbs loose head. Looks like the Dawsons may have changed over in the second row. Looks like number six packing on the side of the scrum this time, so Paul Dawson has moved into the second row, Chris playing at breakaway. Extra man coming in, Cox, and here's a fullback there too, so head to extra men. And University making that ruck indecisive, but uh, we saw then that Eastern Suburbs were at least prepared to attack. They had the blind winger and the fullback coming into the movement. Well, that's their only solution, their only hope, as a matter of fact, get as much of the ball as they can and attack them everywhere. University trying to kill that last ruck. They had three men offside. Back to Rosenblum. And finding touch about uh, 10 yards from halfway. Possession will be vital now in this half. East can, if East can win a fair percentage of the ball, they can call the tune, call it their own way, and make up somewhat of the deficiency of the seven-man seven pack. Out to the centres to Miller. Now Handley, out here to Radovic. Radovic has Stone, there's Stone on the wing. Stone with Rosenblum, and Rosenstone's kick is back in play. Now who's coming first to it? It's over the line. And try, it's been a try awarded. Now that's going to be controversial, that one. The Eastern Suburbs or University halfback appeared to go down on the ball. And I'd say possibly Cray was the scorer. I'm not absolutely certain who scored. I think it was Cray, the breakaway forward, right. number seven. But right. I'd like to see this one again in action replay because let's watch this. Now, out to Stone here. Now, watch the speed of Rosenblum, first of all, forcing Stone to kick. Now, watch number nine for, for University. There he goes. Does he touch this ball down? Now, he might have missed it. The referee was right, I'd say. I think the referee was right. He didn't force it. He shouted up there. He thought he did, but he didn't. There are vital points for, for Eastern Suburbs that carries them right into the picture again. Referee Kearney shouldn't have missed it anyhow. He was right on the job, and he had a very clear view of the ball. Cox is inside the 25 for this one. He's missed it. So the score stays at University 11, Eastern Suburbs 6, with a vital try for Eastern Suburbs. They wanted that, that goal, they wanted that conversion badly. And that try scored from the first occasion in this match that the ball has moved right along the Eastern Suburbs back line. Now Hickman moving to this side for Stone again. I think I was right in saying that, Cyril, that it never really got across the back line right through the first half. Now, the first result brought them a try. And it should be a complete university of education to them. They've got to do that if they're going to win this. Not in straight once more. Referee Kearney in the right position, then right in front of the line out. You can see it. He's been standing oblique, obliquely off at the side and towards the back. Handley. And that kick is the one that's going over halfway to Foreman. And Foreman's kick in touch on the full, so play moves over halfway about 15 yards inside University territory. Five minutes into the second half, University 11, Eastern Suburb 6. Once again, they're here to Hickman not handling the ball, not back to him. It's Dawson and University forwards pouring through on this one. It's up over halfway. Now Haig. Haig in touch on the full and back over the halfway line. A couple of the University players pretty slow to get back to their feet. Well, one of them's Davis. You'll see Davis, the second rower. The young chap, 18, he is the second row forward just moving in now. Number five, there he comes. McLean back at the end of the university line out number six. Blind side to Rosenblum. Cross kick inside the 25 and there's Taylor, cut Taylor, beautiful pass to McLean. McLean is the over, try. Well, 
one side moved, first of all Rosenblum, then the centre cutter, and finally McLean snapping up a pass on the half volley, and this is going to be interesting again to see on the action in replay. Here it is, Rosenblum first of all, beautifully judged cross kick straight to Carter, now his pass is a bad one, right on the half volley, nicely picked up by McLean, and over he goes for the try. Took it right on the half volley, no doubt about the handling, and it's Rosenblum who will take the shot at goal, with University in front at this moment by 14 points to 6, two more points possibly for the kick at goal. It's there, Rosenblum second conversion, 16-6, University in front. back at number eight. Now McLean across the back lines. Rosenblum to Roxborough, the front row forward who's there. Nice heel University. Attack from here. Winchester to Smoker. The smoker's kick is going in touch on the 25 and Haig noticeably limping the Eastern Suburbs fullback. He's not gifted with a tremendous lot of speed either. And uh, this is something for University to pry upon. Now, Rosenblum. A drop at goal. A beautiful kick by Rosenblum. Is it close? It's there. A magnificent drop goal. That's a match winner. Rupert, Rupert Rosenblum. A field goal. And what a beauty that was. He must have been 45 yards out. That was a classic kick. And I think we should see that on action replay. That was a real match winner to make the score 19 points to 6. Sydney University in front. Now here it is from the lineup. This is a glorious field goal. One of the best I've seen this season. And up they go to win the line out. To Rosenblum, hardly any lineup at all. Away it goes and a beautiful kick right over the black spot. And that's a real, as I say, a match winner for Sydney University. From the kickoff, play goes, the ball goes into touch five yards inside the university half. Well, what can you do about that, Cyril Towers? There's nothing much you can do. The only thing can, that you can do is deprive him of possession. That's vital. Now, Eastern Suburbs working the blind side. The up and under coming down inside the 25 onto Smoker. That's Cox coming at Smoker. And Smoker in touch, so Eastern Suburbs driving right down about 10 yards short of the University line. It's a clash of heads then between Greg Johnson, number 8, University, and uh, Paul Dawson. A little bit sick, both of them. Little winning that ball, but uh, Eastern Suburbs must score points as Hickman. Hickman almost through a gap, looking for his forwards back in field. It's right in front of the posts. Chance here if Eastern Suburbs can get this ball. They want the ruck, he, they want the heel, a penalty University. Penalty University, and here's a clash of players. And a further penalty from up running 10 yards. University attacking, here's a chance for them. Up in the pass out, a wild pass to Holmes it is now. And recalled by the referee once again, and this, what's going to happen is a further penalty. Maxwell has lost a bit of control of this one. Taking about 10 yards is not going to do much good. Well, some of the players going on like a debating society at the moment. They've got a lot to say to each other, so it's no good to take this kick. And he finds touch a, a few yards from halfway. They look better, they look more dangerous when they open up and play. They've got good footballers and they might as well use them. And University losing ground, taking play inside the 25. moving back to number eight for Eastern Suburbs. Front row, Bailey. 
There's Pittle breaking away from the ruck. Out here to Radovic and the winger on the far side, Cox. Looking for Radovic again. Inside the 25 to Hickman, but in touch now. And the, and Lady Univers to Eastern Suburbs. University man definitely offside then on the return pass to Cox. University have been doing a lot of this and I might say they've been getting away with it. But uh, this has been one of the aggravating features that caused some much of a fisticuff. A lot of scragging and uh, uh, molesting going on. Well, the score is 19 points to 6. Uh, if successful here, it would make it 19-9. Still 10 points the difference. But I'm not prepared to say that Eastern Suburbs out of this match after last week, Cyril. I mean, the University scored, uh, what, 8 points in the last 3 minutes? Yes. But uh, kicking won't get you those points. Not, I mean, kicking up the field. Uh, you've got to get down to the, to the question of getting tries. Cox is inside the 25 with this. 20 yards, 22 yards out on the right side for the left footer. He's made it. Yes, an important penalty goal. The second penalty to Cox, and it's East Sydney University 19, Eastern Suburbs 9. A little bit of fire gone out of University. They may be looking at the scoreboard, 19 to 9, but that's, that's bad policy just the same. And once again, we see Handley kicking. These tactics haven't worked all day. Although they've lost ground that time, but uh, I just find myself I can't agree with that. But why, why kick when, by running the ball, they have looked like scoring tries? Now, it was terribly hard to get your mind out of this groove. They've been playing to a pattern all the year, and uh, this is the way they, they see the game should be played. But it's not productive, not productive at all. This time it's coming, is it? Yes, along the back line it goes to Radovic. Here's the fullback in Haig. And Haig drops the pass, gives a chance to University. Here's onto this ball, but Stone now. And for the knock on the scrum. Tight head to Eastern Suburbs, an unusual one. Is Miller and caught by the university forwards, driven back over halfway. Raisin Bloom to Winchester. There's a great chance for University here. The fullback's in. This must be a try. Smoker getting across with the winger outside the foreman. They're getting across field. That was a nice tackle, Hague. To McLean. Well, we can say good defence by Eastern Suburbs, but University should have scored that try. They had three backs to one. Weren't running, the inside fellows weren't running. Basic principle, three-quarter line, it must be moving upfield at maximum speed. And they dawdled there. They had yards and yards to spare. Good cover, and especially a, a very good tackle by uh, even Haig. And it looks like Haig is down with an injury. And here's Eastern Suburbs battling with this six-man pack now. Well, that looks like a five-pack. That's the old South Sydney Rugby League pack. Now, here's a chance. They're coming through fast on this. Smoker's caught. Prittle's there. And out of, somehow Prittle got out of his stone. Now, Stone got the speed. It's, now he can't get away from the fours, but he's keeping the ball in play. Now, Winchester. Back to Cox. And Cox a poor kick and right back to halfway. Well, that run by Stone proves something that some of those university forwards can run. Oh, McLean coming across on him, Henry had him covered. McLean, McLean was a sprinter at school, and not a bad one either. So uh, you've got to have a lot of pace to, to shake him off, and the, the, the thrust was going across field. Here's Miller going straight downfield. Eastern Suburbs still chasing this ball. Now here they go to Radovic. Radovic getting through. He's really trying to play to Dawson. Dawson on the wing, coming back in field. Dawson to the 25, looking for support. His brother's there. Who's there now? Good play by Eastern Suburbs. There are two men down. Now how close to a try are they? They're only about four yards out. And the ball close to the line. They're looking for this ruck. 